Hello and welcome to Two Minute Design. I'm Dage and today we're getting in shape. Ah, uh, come on. <laughs> Seriously? Open up Photoshop and find the shape tools here. Just click and hold the rectangle tool, which is the shape tool. And then you can see all the other tools. I will choose the rectangle tool for now. Now here in the upper left hand corner, just make sure shape is selected. I'll set the fill color to black. Just click on the fill color and either choose one of these swatches or click on the color picker and choose the color you want. And just click and drag to create the rectangle. You can hold down the space bar while dragging to reposition the shape. If you hold down the shift key while dragging, you will constrain this rectangle to a square. If you're using the ellipse tool instead, then holding down the shift key will constrain it to a perfect circle. If you're using the line tool, the shift key will be constraining its angle to a multiple of 45 degrees. Going back to the rectangle, have a look at your layers panel. See how the shape layer looks like? It's awesome! Now remember how I set the fill color to solid black? Well, I just want to say that I can change the color even after creating the shape. I can even click this button here to create a gradient color or this button here to create a pattern. I'll set it back to black because I don't want I, I don't I don't you can also change the stroke color or gradient or pattern and here you can change its thickness. There are also some additional stroke options that you can find by clicking this arrow here. You can set the alignment to be from the inside of the path, from its center, or from the outside. You can change the caps, the corners, and you can set the stroke to a dashed line. Now if you want to customize the actual dashes inside the dash line, well, that's impossible in Photoshop. Oh yeah? Yep. Dude, just click more options here and customize the dashes and gaps to create your personalized dashed line. You can even click save to save your preset and access it later. Seriously man, you didn't know that? 